Hey, Shibi Doodlers, we are going to draw a drunken sailor, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. You are going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. So the first thing I'm going to do is very, very gently, don't press too hard because you want to erase this later. If you press too hard, you <laughs> grind it into the paper, you can't erase it later. So I'm putting a, uh, a line down the middle to, to get this sort of vertical. I'm going to maybe put about a line there and then another one there. So this is going to be his toes and this is going to be the top of his head. And I think his head wants to be around about like that. So draw a circle there and then around about the same height as his head, we'll draw a line across there. So we've got, um, we want a kind of an angle going across there. And if you find the middle, then you want something just not quite as big as the um, as the head, but something about like that. And we'll have a line sort of going there and a line going there. Um, down here we'll have a line across in that angle. So you've got two lines that way, two lines that way to get this kind of drunken look. Now we're going to kind of have the beard sort of coming across like that and his eyes will be about there and his nose and then his ear will be about there. His hat wants to come straight out and pretty much straight across this line here. And so then we can draw his hat around like that with a semicircle there. You want his neck, that's going to come down to there and he has a scarf tied up like that. And then we want his arms sort of coming out like that, sort of drunken. He's having a good time, he certainly is. And then that will sort of be his body part there. We can see a bit of his jacket here, like that. And then we're really gonna see his shirt there and then the inside of his jacket there. This is going to be his belt. And then we're going to want to come down there and follow this along there, about there. No, more about there actually. Let's remove that from from that kind of circle part there to there. And then those that's going to be the inside, the back of his knee. And then we want his bell bottom trousers. And then we want his kind of other leg will be coming down like that. And that will be his bell bottom trousers there. He's a bit bandy legged. So you want a hand and a hand there. We've got a, a, a handle of his mug, which is going to be slightly tilted like that so that we have a whoop coming out of the top. That will be his thumb. Those are his fingers. You want a thumb there and a one and a two and a three and a four. His feet, feet are really difficult things to draw. So we're going <laughs> to, we're going to draw down to the ankle, pretty much straight down like that. And here we'll have his foot coming down and across, that's his ankle, and across to a big toe. And we don't really see much of the other toes there. So it's going to be a bit like that. And then it's time to ink it in. But first of all, you might like to know that if you come over to Patreon and join me there, I will show you how to paint this in watercolour. We do all sorts of other stuff like Zoom tutorials and things like that. Think about joining me on Patreon. Now we're going to draw his nose first so that we get kind of down the middle of the page like that. <laughs> and we'll hit these little eyes smiling. And then maybe the eyebrows on the top like that. We come in and out onto his cheeks. And then we want to draw his beard draw the ear like that and then we'll draw the beard back down to there and we want a moustache as well we'll see his teeth and his open mouth and that's his lip and then we'll see the rest of the beard going up like that draw a curve around to there and a bit of hair we're going to see there as well I think. and then the hat comes all the way around like that and then we want another little bit because it's kind of a bit of ribbon that's stitched on the outside. And then we'll have a little kind of a... <laughs> the ribbons 
going a bit wild on the outside and we'll bring his neck down like that with a bit of throat and this will be his scarf around his neck which has a knot and we'll come, come around and straight and then we can have a couple of little bits in there like that maybe a couple of bits going backwards as well there we're going to have his jacket coming down to there and there'll be a little bit of a kind of collar there and that'll be his jacket going there with a little bit of collar and we'll bring the arm the shoulders down to the elbows and do a little kind of a w m kind of shape there straight across and around and then that kind of zigzaggy m kind of shape down slightly curved and join up there for the jacket and put some little buttons on there I'm sure there's a song about sailors and buttons as well here we'll come up to the elbow zigzag across and back down like that and this is just going to come around there like that because we're going to see his shirt coming down there we're going to put the belt in there big buckle belt like that and we might put some little marks like that where the shirt is tucked in. And let's do these hands. <laughs> hands are always <laughs> the difficult part. So if you come up to that kind of circle around to the thumb and bend it back a little bit like that. And then just kind of follow around those um, fingers. His thumb is a bit bent backwards, isn't it? But then he is drunk. So here we want sausages holding onto his mug and they'll be getting slightly smaller draw the handle going into where his fingers are holding it then we can have the thumb kind of like that and coming out of his jacket and i think we'll, well let's do a little curve around like that we can have the beer splashing out like that another little curve around that it's one of these old sort of pewter tankards like that so that'll have another curve around the bottom now we can bring his um, bell bottom trousers down here and we're going to do a zigzag and a zigzag there and a zigzag and a zigzag and then that will come around to join there and then we'll have oh, maybe a zigzag there too and they'll be at the back of the knee zigzag hidden behind there but let's do this foot first oh, I hate doing feet <laughs> so do a little bit of kind of and then that'll be the big toe something like that and his foot will be coming down there like that I think that's all you need to do it's a big foot <laughs> Uh, and that will sort of come down here and it's sort of getting wider into bell bottoms there and here we have a little bit of an ankle that comes round into the yeah that's the ankle and that's the heel isn't it yeah and then we want to have the sort of toe will be there and that's going to come down I mean, you're not really going to see the other toes they're hidden away I hate doing feet I really really do <laughs> I should have given him shoes that would be a lot easier wouldn't it when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines and in case you are wondering I am drawing on C by 300 gram watercolor paper because I'm going to paint it afterwards now what we're going to need is a bit of um, shadow like that and maybe you know, keep do it on the other side a bit and then maybe a little bit at the front there like that uh, he needs a bit of detail in his hat it's a kind of a straw hat so if we put some kind of curving marks around like that that will give him that bit of straw <laughs> look to it and we're gonna put a shadow in this tankard and I think we need a bit of shadow in there too have a bit of sort of foam and uh, bits blobbing off like that and then I'm going to sort of add a bit of sort of texture to this belt as well I think like that 
and we probably need a bit of shadow in underneath his jacket there as well and I'm just going to add this little bit of shading around under his jacket like that just it just helps to give it a bit of curve and similarly just into there and then maybe a little bit of shadow in there a little bit of shadow underneath there and I am or I think I maybe put a little bit in there too and on his ankles of course <laughs> like that all we probably need to do is to give him a few kind of drunken wobbly lines like that and there you go how to draw a drunken sailor there we go thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the shoe render drawing channel click that button down below and when you do ring the bell so you get notifications for every time i post new videos in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.